US soldiers today have guns that can fire 700 bullets per minute over a range of 600 yards. In comparison, Patriots in the Revolutionary War had far less firepower, the musket and the Kentucky rifle. But at that time, they were some of the best guns in the business, and when used properly, they were seriously effective weapons. By the 1700s, the musket had changed the way battles were fought, making armor outdated. But they weren't especially accurate. A musket ball dropped 18 inches over 100 yards and often curved to the left or right. Using them effectively was all about throwing a lot of lead at the enemy. Soldiers had to stay in line and reload fast. Which wasn't as simple as you might think. A soldier had to bite the end of a paper cartridge which contained gunpowder and a ball. He then carefully poured a small amount of powder into the ignition pan, and the rest went down the barrel with the ball. Then he packed everything down with a rock. Only then was he ready to fire another shot. A trained soldier had to do all of that every 15 seconds while standing up and taking fire from the enemy. It wasn't possible to load muskets lying down. But there was another weapon in the war that in some ways was far more advanced, the rifle. It took its name from the spiral groove on the inner surface of the barrel, the rifling. This made the ball spin as it was fired, allowing for greater range and far greater accuracy. But rifles also came with serious disadvantages. Reloading took a lot longer, they were expensive to make, and becoming a sharpshooter took a lot of practice. Thankfully, Patriot frontiersmen definitely had the necessary experience. They were skilled hunters with rifles made by German craftsmen in Pennsylvania. In battle, they reduced the firepower of British artillery by picking off cannoneers and officers. They were so effective that Congress ordered the creation of 10 rifle companies. The British fielded their own rifle units, mainly Hessian troops using German short-barreled rifles. They harassed patriots at long range while the redcoat rank and file formed their traditional battle lines. The rifles of the Revolutionary War were undoubtedly a major step towards the firearms used on today's battlefields. But in the final analysis, independence was won by the cheap and simple smoothbore musket. <laughs>